What's up everybody and welcome to the Sanctuary of Satisfaction. Today we're making sweet barbecue love to some baby back ribs. I'm TD, this is TD's Brewing Barbecue. Normally this would be a part that I would edit out of the video, but what I want to do is I want to show you guys the drip easy uh, drip hand. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to open up my baby backs. Now there's going to be quite a bit of juices in the bag here, but I'm going to do what I can to uh, not make a giant mess because that's what this is for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna raise up the sides on my Drip Easy pan here. Wipe up most of all that stuff there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just pat down my ribs. Now the cool part about this is that almost all of the juice that was in the uh, in the package has now fallen down into the Drip Easy drip pan. I'm gonna pat them down one more time, just with the dry rag or dry paper towel. Now I'm gonna flip them over. First, I'm gonna show you how do I remove the membrane here. I usually go from the third rib in on this side, or the third rib out. This one's pretty small. I like to go from the one in. We're gonna take our knife and we're gonna run it in here over the bone. I like to pick up a little bit so I can give myself a nice piece to grab onto. And grab yourself another towel. Sometimes they're easier than others. But most of the time, we can usually get them in about one try. If it takes an extra 30 seconds to do it, you might as well do it. Now I'm flip them back over and I'm going to season them with, of course, you already know, TD's Boom Barbecue Sweet Barbecue Love. This is going to be your brown sugar paprika type seasoning here. It's going to come out really granulated, which is what we want. And we're going to season, the, I'm going to slightly season the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna season the bottom really quick. Bottom, just like to give it a good dusting. Make sure we get what meat is exposed, some seasoning down there. Now we're gonna let these things marinate overnight. Not really marinate, but we're gonna let them sit. I like to let them sweat overnight. I'm not even gonna rub it down. I'm just gonna pat it just a little bit. Kinda make sure that all that brown sugar sticks inside there to that meat. And as I was mentioning earlier, this is the Drip Easy. This is a cutting board. Marinade, you can easily fit at least a pork butt, a brisket, um, probably two racks of ribs in here. Uh, and it's, like I said, it goes down to different heights. So. We don't have to get it too high, we don't have to get it too low, uh, but for this back, this uh, rack of ribs, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it right here, and I'm just gonna take some foil, and I'm gonna cover the top, and we're gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. It's game day in the Sanctuary of Satisfaction. We've been making sweet barbecue love to these baby back ribs all night. 
So what we got now, we got the Rectech 700 over here, rolling smoke at 225. I'm gonna take these ba beautiful baby back ribs and I'm gonna put them on this grill and let them smoke for around about three hours. And then we're gonna take them off. I'm gonna wrap them in some butcher paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put them back on there for about another two hours. Then we're gonna sauce them up and let them go for about the last hour. We're gonna be doing the three, two, one method. So what I got, I'm gonna show you real quick. What we got here, this is the drip easy pan. Look at those baby backs right there. Look at that, get a close up. That's beautiful. That sweet barbecue love, the color is unmatched. So I'm gonna take these bad boys off. Look at that. These bad boys are gonna be beautiful on there. All right, so our ribs have been going on for three hours, uh, 225 on the Rectech 700. So I'm gonna wrap them right now. I'm gonna wrap them in some butcher paper. Pull this over here. I'm gonna measure out about how much I need. I got this gorgeous pizza peel from one of my customers from TD's Brew and Barbecue Sanctuary of Satisfaction. This thing's awesome. I'm gonna put me some agave nectar and I'm just gonna put it right on the top. This is an apple cinnamon butter. I'm gonna flip these ribs over. Now I'm gonna wrap it twice. The first time I'm gonna get one really tight right here. We got the, the, the meat side up, the bone side down. We're gonna throw it right back on the smoker. All right, so our ribs have hit the 170 degree mark. So I'm gonna open them up. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up this butcher paper here. All oh, these ribs are nice. You can see the butter and that agave nectar. It's hard for you to kind of see, but you can tell the color that we got there. Most of this color is all strictly from the smoke and the sweet barbecue love. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna baste them with my cherry chipotle sauce. I'm gonna throw them back on the smoker. Again, right now we're looking at probably around about another hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the smoker. And we're gonna finish them up. So here we are on the smoker. It's been about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna give them another quick glaze. Look at that color. I'm telling you, there is no better color combination out there than the cherry chipotle and the sweet barbecue love for your ribs. We're gonna give them about another 30 minutes and we'll be right back. Oh man, I pulled these ribs off the grill at 195 degrees internal. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna kinda fold them up in a little bit of foil and let them rest for just a few minutes, probably about 15 minutes. I'm gonna separate it kind of about halfway gonna find the bone, run right with the bone. a little bit. These were pulled at about 195. Probably would have let them go up to about 203, somewhere right around there. But they're pulling right off the boat. So most of the fight fight back. You're getting this from the snap, which is the outer coating 
from the rod and the sock. But you can see, it isn't fighting me too hard. So again, sweet barbecue up overnight, 225, 321. If you're using the foil, it's gonna be a little bit more effective than the butcher paper, but we still got some pretty good ribs out of it. They're nice and tender, they're real juicy. These things are gonna rock. Family's gonna love them. So as of right now, TD with TD's Brewing Barbecue. It's not just life changing, it's also lunch changing. Thanks for watching, guys.